Hi hey YouTube, this is um, Roblomats1 here, doing a um, Collected Editions review of Marvel Civil War. Um, this comic is based on um, the Patriot Act. Um, get my notes. Um, this comic is based on the, um, Patriot Act, um, that happened after 9-11, and it's sort of, it's a response to the Patriot Act, um, like, what happened in 9-11, like, the events in um, this book are very, very similar to what happened in 9-11. Um, we have a team of superheroes who um, go up against um, a team of a team of supervillains. Um, and what happens is there is a huge explosion by one of the caused by one of the villains, and it wipes out a small out a town called Stanford. Um, this is a world changing um like this completely changes the Marvel universe um. And people start demanding um, that superheroes register, um, that superheroes register and are held accountable for their actions. Um, this completely divides the um, superhero community down the middle. Um, do, 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 do. The main issue um, isn't with the story itself, more to do with the cat, with how the characters are, bought, are portrayed. Um, Like, um, the way that Spider-Man, um, un like, Spider-Man, um, unveils his identity in this comic, um, Spider-Man wouldn't do that, and sort of, obviously, with Brand New Day, um, the e events in that book, um, they had to end up retconning um, what happened in Civil War because of, excuse me, that. Um, also, he wouldn't do that because, it, you know, the reason why he protects his identity so much is because, um, you know, of because he fears for his family. He fears what happened to Gwen Stacy will happen to um, Mary Jane and Aunt May. Um, also, um, another issue is how Captain America is portrayed. Um, like, Captain America um, reflects the will of the American people. Um, and in this book, he goes against the American people. Um, I, so I argue that um, Captain America isn't going against the will of the people. More so, he's trying to um, hold on to the past. Like... Um, 
he's a man from World War Two. He still holds those ethics from World War Two. Um, and Captain America isn't with the times. He's sort of behind in the times. Whereas Iron Man is, you know, with the time. You know, with the time, he's current, he's up to date. So it's less so much that um, Captain America is going... Is going against the will of the people. Um, more, <clears throat> um, Captain America isn't going against the will of the people. He just doesn't. Um, he's just holding on to the past as a as opposed to going towards the future. Um, the issue with that is how Captain America reacts to the situation that he's in. Like, um, Captain America acts more like a terrorist in this comic than... Um, And, you know, he acts as he would a guerrilla warfare. Like, he's fighting for no real cause, really. Um, he's just fighting, and it's really like, well, the people are asking you to do this so that you can protect them better. Whereas Captain America doesn't do that, you know, Captain America, you know, fights that, again, fights the will of the people and acts like a terrorist. Um, you know, whereas Iron Man, um, let me see my notes. Whereas Iron Man does not act like a terrorist. Iron Man understands what the people are asking for him. And, you know, as... You know, and he's trying to make a bad situation better. And um, that is really, really important. Because, you know... Because, like, he says in the book, the people, you know, like, certain members of the government and, um, the, and S.H.I.E.L.D. would shut down, um, the superhero community. What Iron Man did was he ensured that the superhero hero community could continue doing what they do but do it so that they, they can better protect the people they're trying to save. Um, personally, I, um, I am more on Tony Stark's side in this comic. Then, um, like, the comic tries to get as, um, siding with Captain America. But after giving it some thought, um, I actually side more with Iron Man than I do with Captain America, purely because, um... Iron Man made mistakes, like the mistake with Goliath, the mistake with the Thor clone, um, they weren't really his fault, they were freak accidents, like, what happened with Goliath was a freak of nature, like, 
it wasn't um it wasn't Iron Man's fault. Also, um Iron Man attempted to make things better and and he had a plan and he went with it. Like Captain America does not have a plan in um in this comic. He just doesn't. Um, so I side with Iron Man purely based on the fact that he has a plan and he still has a plan even after the comic book ends. Like his sole interest is protecting his friends and the people. So that's quite good. Um, Also, another problem is, um, the character that I had a problem with is, um, the characters of Sue Storm and, um, Reed Richards. Like, um, 